Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for October 7th. October 7th is the 280th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 281st in leap years with 85 days remaining to the end of the year. Currently, I like to scan what we're gonna be talking about on this day in history, see if there's anything interesting or unusual, an obscure word that we can explore for the word. And that in mind, I did find such a word in today's day in history. It's NASDAQ. <laughs> you might've heard that word before if you've ever watched or listened to the news, particularly the part where they talk about stocks and stock reports and whatnot as that. NASDAQ is an acronym and it stands for National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotation System. System is in parentheses, N-A-S-D-A-Q, NASDAQ. I've placed a link in the show notes if you're curious to learn more about NASDAQ. And I would like to take a moment here to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. You can do that with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. Oh yes, there's also a link in the show notes to the Day in History playlist. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put a link in the iCards right up there. If you're watching on Vimeo, it will just be in the show notes. And with that, we're going to start in 1691. Is that right? Yeah, 1691. When on October 7th, the charter for the province of Massachusetts Bay was issued. This is in the way back of the way back of American history province of Massachusetts Bay Colony was a crown colony in British America, later becoming one of the 13 original states of the United States. Cornell University held opening day ceremonies on October 7, 1868. Initial student enrollment was 412, the highest at any American university to this day. This is the birthday of the 33rd President of the United States, Henry A. Wallace, born October 7, 1888. He lived to the age of 77. The Helsinki Stock Exchange was founded and opened for business on October 7, 1912. Since then, it has ultimately been acquired by NASDAQ and is now known as NASDAQ Helsinki. Georgia Tech defeated Cumberland University 222 to zero, holy cow on October 7th, 1916, in the most lopsided college football game in history. I guess so. Yikes. Phone rang while I was recording, so it stopped recording. I think I got through KLM, but we'll read that one again and go from there. October 7th, 1919 is the founding date of KLM, the Royal Dutch Airlines. It happens to be the oldest airline still operating under its original name. Good job, KLM. This is the birthday of American journalist and critic William Zinser, born October 7th, 1922. He wrote a number of books, and if you're interested in writing, you should check out his book, On Writing Well. William Zinser lived to the age of 92. October 7th, 1933 is the date that Air France was inaugurated. Air France was formed by a merger of five French airlines. Mother Teresa established the Missionaries of Charity on October 7th, 1950. This is the birthday of American singer, songwriter, and actor John Mellencamp, born October 7th, 1951. He turns 69 in 2020. By golly, this is the birthday of Russian President Vladimir Putin, born October 7th, 1952. He turned 68 in 2020. This is the birthday of cellist Yo-Yo Ma, born October 7th, 1955. I've placed a link in the show notes to a sample of his work. Very nice, peaceful cello music. Yo-Yo Ma turned 65 in 2020. And the birthday of American singer, songwriter, and actor Michael W. Smith. Born October 7th, 1957, if you're a fan of the Christian music genre, 
You might be familiar with these work. Michael W. Smith turned 63 in 2020. We've got a lot of birthdays. I mean, a stack of birthdays in the 50s here. Good day to be born on October 7th. This is the birthday of English television personality and businessman Simon Cowell, born October 7th, 1959. He's involved in a lot of things, but I think a lot of Americans would recognize him from the Got Talent franchise. He turned 61 in 2020. On October 7, 1958, NASA renamed the U.S. Manned Space Flight Project, Project Mercury. The name Mercury, of course, was chosen from classical mythology after the Roman god Mercury. That is a lowercase g that we're speaking of. Mercury was considered the god of financial gain, commerce, eloquence, messages, communication, travelers, boundaries, luck, trickery, and thieves, and served as the guide of souls to the underworld. Sounds like a pretty busy fellow, Mercury. <laughs> I usually just think of communication as short trips when I think of Mercury. So it is interesting to me, at least, to learn of these other attributions. That's a little side trip, though, about Mercury. <laughs> and a year later, on October 7th, 1959, the Soviet probe Luna 3 transmitted the first ever photographs of the far side of the moon. October 7th is turning out to be a pretty interesting day, isn't it? <laughs> In 1963, President Kennedy signed the ratification of the Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. This treaty sought to ban nuclear weapons tests in the atmosphere, in outer space, and in oceans, although they could still be performed underground. There's a link in the show notes with more information about who all has gotten on board with this treaty, if you're curious about that. The fourth Soviet constitution was adopted on October 7, 1977. Four men from the Palestine Liberation Front hijacked the MS Achille Lauro off the coast of Egypt on October 7, 1985. On October 7, 1993, after more than three months of flooding, the flood of 93 ended at St. Louis, Missouri, as the Mississippi River finally fell back below flood stage. The Fox News Channel began broadcasting on October 7, 1996. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. If you enjoyed this series, you can check out the show notes for a link to the This Day in History playlist. You'll find that on YouTube and Vimeo. If you're on YouTube, you can also find that link to that playlist up in the corner there in the iCards. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others, and I'll see you next time. Let me just fix that. I just got the pop-up that says my computer's head is full. I need to blow its nose. <laughs> I closed the thing that has my script in it. Somebody's honking their horn. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty ambitious project. Okay, just leave that part out. Not the first day, but the birthday. I guess the birthday is the first day. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. <laughs> I might leave that part out. <laughs> I don't know how all well that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. And that'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>